Hey, is this real? I can't tell. Hey, <laughs> it's uh, you know Keith here. I'm uh, gonna be reviewing Evolve, uh, which is you know a, a video game. In case you didn't guess by what you're seeing, but um, so Evolve is made by uh, Total Rock Studios, uh, published by 2K. Uh, Total Rock is the same team that made uh, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. So. Um, you know, so this game definitely has some similarities to it. But, because this game's gotten a lot of hype and a lot of press, if you haven't heard about this game, I mean, basically it's four hunters versus a monster on the planet Sheer. And it's the hunter's job, well, to hunt the monster and kill it. And it is the monster's job to evolve to uh, stage three and either kill all the hunters or take out a power relay. And that's literally the game in a nutshell. But that's... Reviews done. Man, oh boy, this game's fun. But nah, seriously. Um, so this game is a it. It's a multiplayer only, but you can play offline. So, but so what I mean is, there's no single player, but it is uh, a game based mostly on multiplayer matches. Even you know, technically, when you play solo, it's a multiplayer match. It's just that it's just you playing it. So um. I'll start talking about the hunters. So, uh, for the most part, you you play as there's four classes of hunters. There's the assault, which uh, usually get two guns, usually an assault rifle, or and then some main gun like a lightning gun or a gatling gun or a flamethrower, whatever it happens to be for for each particular guy. Then there's the trappers, whose job is to track and eventually trap the monster in a in a dome field. Uh, there's the medic, whose job is to heal everybody, and then there's support, who kind of has a wide range of jobs, but mostly they uh, they use uh, like a shield gun, and they shield the teammates. And so, there's three different uh, characters for every single class. For the hunters, there is uh, Markov, Hyde, and... I don't remember the third guy's name off the top of my head. Okay. I, I, no, it's not. It's, no, no, that's another guy. I remember, but so basically the hunt, like the the, the assault class, kind of just varies on what kind of guns you get. You know, Markov has an assault rifle and a uh, and a lightning gun, whereas um, Hyde has a flamethrower and a mini gun. Like, and that's you know in that class. And basically, uh, the other abilities you get for that class is you get uh, a shield. I know from Markov you get a shield that makes you invulnerable for a period of time, and then um, you get arc mines, and then and that's like your abilities. Uh, the trappers, you have Maggie, who has the the pet trap dog, tr pet trap jaw uh, Daisy, who uh, can follow the monster scent and track him down, and she also gets a uh, harpoon turrets. And I think that's it. There's Abe, who uh, uses. Uh, sound sensors to uh, locate the monster's position by sound and he also I think he also has a harpoon gun and then there's Griffin who uh, he can tag other creatures and if the monster eats it it alerts him to the monster's location not as useful but I guess it has its place and then there's support and uh, there's Hank who his main support thing is that he gets an orbital barrage where he can basically call an airstrike down there's Bucket who can uh, detach his head, and he can use that as a UAV to to fly it around and find the monster. And then I know the third guy, his is a is a crop dust ability where it drops uh, like uh, some kind of uh, element onto the ground that covers a an area of the map, and it shows the monster where he's at. And then for medics, uh, there's Val who has a traditional med gun. There's Kara, who has uh, healing grenades, and then there's Lazarus, who can't heal anybody, but he can revive you when you're dead. And so, you know, every hunter 
plays, they, they each serve a role, like each class serves a role, but they all play a little bit differently. But the four that you start off with, which is Markov, Val, Hank, and Maggie, I feel like they're the best, all looking just looking at the stats, because one thing that I'll get to eventually is, is how hard it is to get additional characters and to progress in this game. Um, they're the best all-around characters. Like they probably are the most balanced out of all of them, which m makes sense. Like you, no matter what, they're, they're these four are not a bad choice of characters to play as. They are fairly sound characters. Um, to me, I don't like playing as the assault. The assault's just it's bland. It's your typical shooter kind of class, and so I mean, and also everybody al assaults are always the first thing taken when you play a game, so, um, you know, I really get the chance to play him. The, and the only one that I don't like is the Medic. The Medic's just fucking hard to use, especially Val, because you can't really do damage. You have a, a sniper rifle, but it's really hard to aim, and then you have a Trank gun, and that's like your two guns that you get. Other than that, you can't really, uh, do any damage. But I really do like support in, uh, the Tracker, just because they have, I feel like, the most the the most fun roles, you know, of actually shielding your teammates and then trapping the monster. Like, I feel like those are the most fun. And then, um... And now let's go on to uh, the monsters. Um, so there's the Goliath, who is the guy you start off with, in which basically he's just uh, almost a gorilla-like uh, brute, I guess, who, um... You know, his abilities are like... Uh, Fire Breath, Rock Throw, uh, Leap Smash, and uh, Charge. And so he's the most basic guy. He's kind of, out of the, f the, the four uh, monsters, he's probably he's the, in the middle of everybody. Um, and then there's the, uh, the Kraken. The Kraken can, is, kind of looks like Cthulhu, and it can fly, and then it has a, a lightning strike, it can t drop uh, arc... Uh, arc blast, it can have a vortex, and, and so, that, it's more based on range. The Kraken is, you know, you want to fly and be not up in the, in the hunter's face, and then, you know, just fire at them from a distance. And then there's the Wraith. The Wraith is more stealth based. The Wraith can, uh, teleport to a, he has an ability where if you, if you lock on to something, you teleport to it, grab it, and then pull it back and kill it really quick. It's its version of a stealth kill, and then it can create a decoy of itself, which is really fun. Um, I, I've played as the, the Kraken a little bit. I have not played as the uh, the Wraith yet. And then, I, I pre-ordered the game, and you're supposed to get the Behemoth but with the Monster Pack, but I haven't gotten it, so I think maybe the way that's working is when the Behemoth becomes available to the public, that's when... I, you know, you get it, so as of right now, I, I can't really say anything about the behemoth. But, um, so I'll talk about the way the game plays now. The game, it's, I feel the game's fairly balanced. Um, you know, playing as the, as the hunters, you, you, you have to work as a team, otherwise you're not going to last long. Um, and then... You know, because if, if, if anybody goes off on their own, that person's getting screwed. So, I mean, you don't want the medic to run off on their own, because then the medic will just get destroyed, and then then nobody can get healed, and then the monster can just have his way with everybody. But at the same time, I feel like if you're too close, you can get hit by a lot of... A lot of moves have, like, a damage radius, and so a lot of people can get hit at the same time, and that's not good. So, you got to find a balance between it. Um... And also playing as the hunt as the hunters, you have to worry a lot more. I feel like about the wildlife, you know, um, the blitz leopards and things like that can mess you up a lot. And also, there's the giant crocodiles that are also uh, a pain in the ass. And carnivorous plants, you know, they blend in with the environment and then they'll they'll down you, and you won't even know what happened. Um, so the environment's just really cool when you play the game. Um, and then playing as the monsters, you just have to be smart. You know, you're, you, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to take on the hunters as a stage one monster. You know, for the most part, at, at stage one, the match is more in favor of the hunters. At stage two, it's a bit more of an even fight. And then stage three, it's basically almost all monster. It's kind of just a fight for survival at that point. 
Um, but the game plays really, really well. If this is, I, I have a lot of fun playing this game. It's really challenging, and it's just, uh, I like it a lot. Um, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into uh, the game modes. Really, there's when you when you open up the game, there's two get two game modes. There's skirmish and evacuation. And so skirmish is you play a single match of hunt, and that's it. That's the only game mode that you can play by itself in a public uh, lobby. And then there's evacuation, which is a five-match campaign where uh, you play five randomized uh, match types, and then they affect each other. So, like, you know, you could play all hunt. The last one's always defend, but you could play all hunt game modes, and then the last one's defend. And the cool thing about evacuation mode is that uh, your experience that you get at the end of it is all based on how many survivors that you save. So, uh, if the monster wins a match, uh, survivors, civilians are killed, whereas if the hunters win, a bunch of them are saved. So that, and that's how it works. But then the last match has a lot to do with it too, where, uh, if the hunters have a lot of survivors, but then the monster kills and destroys the dropship, then everything was for naught. But the other cool thing about it is that, you know, every match matters, you know. If, uh, if let's say, uh, the monster wins nest, the, the nest game mode, which I'll get into all the different game modes here in a second, uh, then more minions spawn. If, uh, survivors are killed in rescue, if the, if the monster kills all the survivors in rescue, then, um, then the minions, they get more armor because they manage to eat more, you know, things like that, like, or if you rescue the survivors, they get better turrets for defense mode. Like, winning and losing every match has an impact. A randomized impact. In which I think they said that there's 8,000 different variants of how matches can play out. I and mean, I think that's really cool that there's a lot of replayability in evacuation mode. Um, and then, the... And so then the other game modes besides hunt are defend, which is basically you have to defend three generators... Uh, one at a time, and then if the monster and his minions destroy the last generator, uh, they win, or if they kill all the, the hunters, they win. Uh, nest mode is the monster's trying to protect a bunch of eggs, and if, uh, if the monster kills the humans, or the hunters, then it wins, but then if the hunters ki destroy all the eggs or kill the monster, uh, they win. And then there's rescue mode, which rescue is there's survivors scattered around the map, and you have to, hunters have to go around and try to save them. Uh, the monster just try, goes around and tries to kill them. And so, and then those are all the game modes, in a nutshell. So, with this game, there's only a couple of design decisions that, they're not bad design decisions, I just might not necessarily think they were the best. Uh, it is really, really hard to progress in this game. Uh, the progression system is really, it's difficult. Like, I've played the game a lot. I've probably put in about, at this point, probably right around 40 matches, and I'm only level 9. Like, it's just really hard to level up. Now, leveling up isn't as important like your actual level, because all you get for leveling up is you get different perks and buffs for when you play a match that you can pick in the beginning of the match. But it's just, it's just hard to level up. And then, and and uh, I like that you have to play as a class to get more, uh, to get the other characters of a class. Like I like that. I think that's smart. It, it keeps it'll keep people uh, in it more because they want to get more characters, and so they have to play as a certain class, and so it adds more replay value. The other design decision that I don't know, that I don't like is the fact that you can only play hunt in a single match online. You can play it. Offline, solo, or in a private match, you can play any of them. But, like, you can only play Hunt. And Hunt is kind of the central mode. Every game mode can be ended just like Hunt. If the Hunters kill the monster, Hunters automatically win. If the monster kills the Hunters, Monster automatically wins. So I get that that's, it's the base game mode, but I just hate that I don't have the choice to play with random people online in a singular game of Nest without having to play evacuation mode. Like, I don't know. I think they could have handled that a little better. But, uh, all in all, I feel like this game is really fun. Um, it's probably, you know, despite the fact that it being multiplayer only, which, if you ask me, 
uh, being multiplayer only makes sense because at least when I played Left 4 Dead 2, which was you know the last game that these guys made before uh, becoming Turtle Rock, you know I rarely ever played Left 4 Dead 2 offline by myself. I was almost always playing at least online with friends, if not playing online versus other with other people. So I think that um, you know it kind of makes sense to online game. I just kind of feel like even with Titanfall that it was the same thing with Titanfall where this game could have really benefited from having a cool story. But it doesn't hurt it. That would have just made the game better. It doesn't hurt it too much that it's not there in my opinion, but it uh it definitely would have been cool if it was there. So um great game. I feel like it has a lot of replay value. I think it's just really fun if you like class-based games and you like asymmetrical gameplay. It's it's just a lot of fun in my opinion. Um if I had to give this game a score, I'd give it uh, a solid uh, 8.5 out of 10. It's it is I would consider it is it is an upper tier game. It's just really good. It's fun. I enjoy it. I highly recommend it to anybody who needs a uh, a new online multiplayer game to play because this game is a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, check us out on Twitter, all that cool stuff, you know, uh, you know, friend us on, uh, PSN or Xbox Live, you know, we're always, uh, cool to meet, a it's always fun to meet up with new people, and, uh, I shall talk to you guys later.